victory at the Gustavo Petro camp as he celebrates a spot in the runoff presidential election after a first round that saw the left-wing candidate win over 40% of votes. Today we won. Today is a day of triumph. Gustavo Petro was not the only one celebrating. A party also erupted at the Rodolfo Hernandez base. The right-wing populist candidate joins Petro in the runoff after an unexpected second-place victory in the first round with more than 28% of ballots. These next few days will be decisive to determine the future of a nation. I'm conscious of the need to unite our country in the path of change that has been made firmly evident today. With two anti-establishment candidates now set to go head-to-head -head for Colombia's top job, Sunday's results reflects a country hungry for change, with voters frustrated with Colombia's political elite who have historically dominated government. A win for Petro, a former mayor of Bogota, would be particularly unprecedented in a country where there has never been a leftist president. His running mate, Francia Marquez, is already making history as the first black female vice presidential candidate. Petro has vowed to transform Colombia's economic system if he wins, while businessman Hernandez has positioned himself as the anti-corruption candidate. Both hope to sway voters, many of whom are fed up with rising inequality and inflation. Despite threats of political violence throughout the presidential campaign, Sunday's vote was largely peaceful. The second round will take place on June 19th.